Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in our last video, we completed the model for this water tower and today we are going to unwrap this asset. So this is the second video in this uh, tutorial and uh, in the next part, we are going to texture it in Substance Painter. So let's start with this tower. I'm going to start unwrapping this top first. Go to your UV editor. So I'm going to isolate it, so press Alt H, go to create and uh, camera based, go to edge mode and add one cut here and uh, select this edge, deselect this one and uh, cut and unfold and layout. Now bring back your model and let's unwrap this tank or we are going to just unwrap the metallic parts first. So let's select these two and since these are identical, I'm going to delete this one and just unwrap this, isolate it and uh, go to create camera based, go to edge mode and select this edge and this one. Then go to your UV editor and cut and unfold like this. Orient shell to fix the rotation and layout. Bring back your model, go to object mode, select this, create a duplicate and place this one down here like this. And let's, let's combine these two. Go to your UV editor, select everything and lay out again to remove the overlapping. So I'm going to select and combine all the metallic parts and then fix the overlapping issue by putting them in a layout. Now this pipe is also going to be our metal. I'm going to isolate it. And uh, this is pretty simple unwrapping. And uh, since these faces are not going to be visible, I'm going to go to face mode and just select them, then delete. And uh, repeat the same thing with these ones. Now to unwrap this, what you can do is go to create camera based and just select this edge. Go to your UV editor, cut and unfold by pressing Ctrl U. You can also use this shortcut, this and uh, just use Orient Shell. I'm going to rotate it like this and lay out. Bring back your model, select all the metallic parts and combine this pipe with them. And again, select everything and lay out. Now we have few more metallic parts, the supports. So since these are also identical, I'm going to delete all of them except this one. So we'll just unwrap one and then duplicate again. So select it and uh, isolate it. And for this, let's try automatic mapping. Go to edge mode. Uh, let's go to shell mode and Select the shell, move it here and use move and sew like this and move and sew all these edges like this and uh, here on the top and the bottom you'll see these unattached edges. So what you can do is uh, you can select these edges and move and sew. Repeat the same thing here, move and sew. And here. And you have to do the same thing in the bottom. Like this, 
and uh, move and still you can also try unfolding it like this and uh, now select everything and uh, layout bring back your model and uh, let's create a duplicate so go to your front view and press ctrl d to create a duplicate and place this one here then press shift t to duplicate with the transformation like this now let's select these and move them this or we can just delete this one this one is extra so also uh, fix this gap if you see any in your model i'm going to select um, everything like this tower and i'm just going to drag it down a little bit like this and uh, to fix this pipe what you can do is go to vertex mode select these vertices and snap them here like this so we are done with the metallic parts we just have to combine them so i'm going to select them deselect this ladder also this tower so we have selected all the metallic parts so combine and uh, go to uv shell then layout so we are done with the metal so what we can do is we can uh, assign a new material for the metal let's rename and uh, we can add a color we want like this and now let's unwrap the wooden part so we are going to start with this isolate it and uh, go to face mode and uh, these faces are not going to be visible so we can also delete them or we can just keep them it doesn't really matter if you are not worried about the polygon count in your project so let's unwrap this with the camera based mapping so go to create and use camera based go to edge mode select these two edges and uh, one edge here like this go to your uh, uv editor and cut then unfold and our cylinder is unwrapped like this use orient shell to fix the rotation and unfold bring back your model and uh, we are going to unwrap these four now these are also identical and we can just uh, unwrap one and then duplicate again but it's going to be too much work so i'm just going to unwrap all these so first i'm going to combine them and uh, go to create and we're going to use automatic mapping for these ones so go to edge mode and move and sew to so select this bring it out here again move and sew and one more time and one at the top and the bottom and we are going to repeat the same thing with this one move and sew one top and one at the bottom again move and sew one top and one at the bottom and at last this one and now we can put them in a layout so if we deleted these three and then duplicated again it would be too much work because we have to align every support pillar exactly to the place where they were before so i'm just going to select these four now and repeat the same thing with these ones so combine and go to create then automatic mapping bring this one here and uh, 
let these two sides move and sew one more time and one at the top at the bottom now select this one again select both edges on the sides move and sew one more and then top and the bottom so that's how pretty much every cube wrapped so you just have to merge these sides together and uh, attach the top and the bottom part and now you can select them and lay out and we can combine them with these four and we're going to lay out them later so now what we have to do is we have to select these four and we have to combine them so what we can do is combine and then go to create then automatic now select one of them and bring it here select the edge and move and sew on the side and one more time do the same with this one like this and all these parts And select everything, then unfold and lay out. And use orient shell to fix the orientation. And one more time, let's lay out. And we are done with these supports. And we are going to quickly unwrap uh, these last four. Combine them and go to create, then automatic. And repeat the same process we just did with these four. Move and sew. and select everything then unfold and layout and orient shell uh, these two are rotated so i'm just going to rotate them like this then layout one more time and we are done with these support i'm just going to select everything and uh, combine then go to uv shells and layout like this now we just need to unwrap this ladder so here we can delete uh, all these parts so what we can do is we can go to right view and we can select like this and deselect this part so we are now selecting only this ladder and uh, i'm just going to deselect these two and this one down here and delete all these steps now we're just going to uh, unwrap these two so i'm just going to combine it go to create and automatic mapping and move and sew like this repeat the same thing with these ones top and the bottom and same with this one and the layout now with the step what we can do is let's isolate it first and see if these have uh, side faces so we deleted these faces in our last video so these faces are not going to be visible so we don't need them anymore so what we can do is bring back your model and i'm just going to create automatic mapping and just move and sew these edges and this is unwrapped and uh, layout so we just have to duplicate everything go to front view and create a duplicate pull this up here like this maybe a little here press shift t to duplicate with the transformation like this and we are done so go to right view again select this and deselect this pipe and combine all these steps and the sides of this ladder go to uv shell and then layout now we have to combine this ladder with all these wooden parts and uh, let's go to combine and uv shell then layout 
now we have this uh, water tank now you can keep it separate or you can combine it with all these wooden parts so i'm just going to combine it so because this is also going to be a uh, wooden material so go to combine and uh, let's select everything and layout like this so now we have uh, two materials let's apply a blend on the wooden part and rename it as wood and let's paint it blue so we have unwrapped everything all the wooden and metallic parts now we are going to export it to texture in substance painter so select everything and go to file export selection uh, but before exporting let's do one thing um, go to edit delete by type history select this part edit delete by type history now select this one edit delete by type history now select everything and uh, let's export selection and rename it water tower and i'm going to export it as obj sometimes uh, fpx doesn't work properly in substance painter so let's keep it obj and export so that's pretty much it for this video and in our next part we are going to texture it in substance painter and we're also going to use some external textures from pixel bridge uh, for our water tower and i'm going to drop all those links in the description so that you can have access to all the resources i'm using for this particular project so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and if you're interested in learning the basics of maya we have a course going on for members only we're going to go over the basics and we're going to do some projects in this course so join the channel and become a member to get access to all that and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Thank you.